All right, we're back for No One Survived. Let's survive. All right, so we last left off. Uh, we were, I went ahead and put this furnace down because we were able, I went ahead and studied it with the clay that I had and put the excess clay in there. We had to get some logs and some stone to finish that off. I went ahead and put this up. I'm not sure if that was on the last video or not, but we're going to go ahead and make this our power uh, boxes so we can put solar panels and batteries and the such in there. Uh, we are currently cooking some planks for that. My beautiful wife is out getting some stones to finish off the, uh, some logs and some stones to finish off the furnace so she can have a place to put all those uh, nuggets that she has on her. As well as, I mean, that's another thing. We're going to have to figure out where in the hell we're going to put all that, uh, all that other stuff. So I think maybe in the fuel box we'll put all the coal. That'll free up some spots. But yeah, let's see, uh, let's see how this goes. Uh, got all of our planks, so let's go ahead and, oh man, I'm already bogged down. All right here and there. Okay. Did you see a car right here? Yeah, that's that's the other sedan. She, she found the other. There's another sedan that spawned right outside of our place, and if I had another uh, kit, I would make that our backup vehicle. But we don't. So let's see. We're gonna call this power, and this is where we're gonna put our generators and our solar panels and our batteries and all the other good stuff here. So I'm gonna go grab this solar panel out of the parts box. Oh come on! I should be able to pick that up. Seriously? Is that that big? Don't do one of that's what she said things. Uh, all right, let's see here. Oh, man, I dropped it on the floor. That's not a good place for that to be. There we go. Unfortunately, these things take up so much space. All right, uh, let's see here. We do have a battery there. We have some more batteries in the, in the back of the car, so... I'm going to call this one power as well. Again, a lot, oh geez, a lot more boxes than I'd like, but. How much um, stone do you need? Uh, 15 stone is what we'll need to finish the furnace. We got plenty of that. Okay, let's see, we'll drop that in there. Let's see if we can go empty out the rest of the stuff in the back of that car. Uh, I need eight orange batteries and eight, uh, I'm going to use eight of the green batteries, even though we all we really need is the car batteries, but uh, we're going to go ahead and. See if we can do this without bogging ourselves down too terribly bad. Okay. Yeah, we went a little nuts. I I shouldn't say we. I went a little nuts on gathering all those nuggets because we have a lot. All right. Let's see here. I think there. She may have another. See, that's five, six. I think she may have another couple on her. Uh, or in the backpack, one of the two. Uh, and that should finish that off. So, And then once we learn the battery bank, we're going to go ahead and put that up over there in the... Uh, let's see, what can we carry? That's about it for that. Uh, we're going to put them up over in the, uh, the horde house. That sounded bad. Horde invasion home. <laughs> that sounded bad. That didn't come out right. Uh, all right. Go pick up a few more of those. And the orange ones are what, when, when I get that main house, that one right there built, that's what the orange ones are going to be for. And if I can get them ahead of time and just put them away, I will. Because then it's something, one less thing I have to worry about later. Put them, uh, if you got rocks, put them into the, uh, the furnace, and then there's a little box next to it. If you have any excess, you can put them in the stone collecting box there. Uh, do you have a couple of those green batteries on you? Mm. I don't. I don't speak caveman, so I don't know what that meant. They're in the car. Um, okay. Well, I already picked through everything in the car. We've got three. It's four, five. Let's see here. We got five there. Six. There's, I'm still missing two. All right. It's fine. Maybe they're in the backpack. Uh, grab that. Put the backpack on the floor. Okay, that's all nuggets. That'll be interesting. Uh, they're not in the car. 
No, there's. Okay, where did you put them? Okay, I need two more logs for the furnace. Okay. So we need one orange, one more orange battery, and then the, almost both battery bank, banks will be completed. Um, okay, let's see here. Let's trade. Yeah, we need to not do that. All right. Uh, that means we're in day 15. So now we've hit zombie uh, horde day. And when in about another, what is it, 12 hours, we're going to get invaded, I think. I don't remember what time it, exactly it starts, but I think about 1,800 hours it starts. Oh, yeah, yeah. We just You just got to make sure you have your ammo on you, and then we'll just smoke them as we can. We need another two logs to finish our furnace. Okay, and let me check our planks here. Put these back in here. Now our ammo, doing pretty good on shotgun shells. We have a couple extra, but I'm going to put those in your box because I know you are the one who loves the... Uh, um, yeah, you're the one who likes the... Uh, oh, you have one of those in your box. That's my matching set right there. Oh, man. <laughs> I can give you this one. No, I, I don't want any right now. It doesn't matter. I'm looking nice and buff running around with my chest open. And... Hey, you can get it. I don't use it. No, it's it's hot right now. It's still it's 84 degrees. I can't, if I put that on, I'll suffocate. All right, let me check out our ammo box and see if we can put these gun oils away. No, we're full on gun oil. This should be enough ammo, I would imagine, to fend off a horde, between the two of us anyway. Um, good there. Okay, so uh, once we get those logs, we'll finish the furnace and then probably do the smelting fur. Oh, can I do that yet? Have I learned that? Let me see here. Oh, you stop it. Come on. This, I need uh, two bricks. And in order to get the bricks, I guess I need to do the furnace first. Okay. And then we'll start to be able to make these, which we're going to need a crap ton of. There is one other thing I needed to learn here that was kind of critical. I'm trying to remember which one it was. Oh, this will be down here. The battery table. That's the one I want, which means we have to learn all of this up in here. This is going to require iron ingots, which we have to make over there. So, yeah, we're not going to be doing any of that until we get... Um, until we get this stuff done over here. So two bricks, which means our furnace needs to be completed, and then we can put the clay in there with something else, I believe, and make ourselves some bricks. Uh, where are we with water? Let's go ahead and drink one. Yeah, we're still good. All right, let's see where we are with food. Not going to say anything, but somebody's been dipping hard into the food. <laughs> well, more than you. Oh, there's a shot. There's one that came across the bow. Eat that before it goes bad. You turn your light off, by the way.
Okay, furnace is complete. Alright, so the furnace is where you can drop off all of your... Oh, I need stone for that too. So one stone and four clay. Let's see what we have here. Gosh, the lag is so real. Alright, so we can make 16 of these, huh? Nope. Oops. There we go. Okay, so that'll give us the bricks to learn our next piece of gear, which is where we're going to put all of our... Uh, we can actually start putting some of those ingots inside there. Let's see what I have in here. Uh, sure. And start grabbing some of these, I guess. Alright, I'm going to go put those away. Okay, we're still doing good. We are, we're, we're in Horde Day, but we're not there yet, so... Actually, this is foolish. I don't know why I put all those in there. That's not where they're going to go. Because we got to make our smelting furnace. That's where all that will go. And I'll pick up that one brick to learn... Um, oh, I need two bricks. Sorry. Alright, so uh, we can build that one. So let's, uh, the, oh shoot, the smelting furnace. Alright, and this smelting furnace is going to need, oh, five logs, 15 stone, nine clay, and 15 bricks. So let's go ahead and maybe shut this thing off and see if we manage to salvage ourselves nine. Nope, nowhere near it. So, you know, go with it, right? Because oh, we need brick anyway. So we're going to have to go p collect a, a lot more clay so we can make brick and clay. Okay. Stone's not going to be a problem. Logs are not going to be a problem. I already got the logs right here. Thanks to my lovely wife and her diligence of collecting stuff here. Let's see here. That's done. Uh, stone shouldn't be a problem. We'll grab whatever we have in here. Let that finish doing what it's going to do. Oh, you know, it's... I, well, we can start... Well, until we build that, we can't put those uh, those ingots away. So let's uh, go out here. And then we're close to Horde Night. Well, we still got a ways to go. We have to rest and get that just over with. But we might wind up doing that. Uh, let's see here. I know I need one of those and probably one of these. Um, yeah, we'll go with that for now.
All right, my dear. Um, we just have to get stuff for here. So we're going to have to get some clay, obviously some stone, uh, some bricks, which I'm trying to make. I'll take everything I have and put it into here right now. So let's see here. Nine clay. we got another 13 bricks to go. Yeah, we're going to need a lot of stone, a lot of clay. Okay, so, oh, she's going to make the cart. Look at that. She's so far ahead of me. She needs, I think that's exactly what we have to, is enough to make, oh yeah, we can make a lot of planks. Now, let me just take a couple of these. I don't think we need all that. Just look over here and see what we need for, for logs. Oh, logs are done. Okay. Let's store these. And what she was saying, she's going to make the cart, so she needs some planks for that. Uh, I think all we need is to make two of these, but we'll make all six, because I don't know what other planks we may need. Uh, you got five in there already, and I'm cooking the rest for you. So we need a lot of clay, and or yeah, quite a bit of clay and quite a bit of stone to finish that furnace. And then we can put all of our nuggets away. I'm going to try to see if we can do that before, uh, before the horde invasion starts, which is going to be shortly, I guess. This episode, or part, or whatever you want to call it, will likely run a little bit long, because we're going to wait, because she agreed that she'd, she'd help me out with this, so we're going to wait to the Horde invasion and try to repel that. And uh, and then after that, we'll probably call it good for the, uh, for, the, for the part here. Now, I have to get a bunch of clay, and I do not know where there is a bunch of clay, so let me just take a look at the map real quick. Uh, I imagine there will probably be some clay along here. I know for a fact there is clay down in this area. And I think over here somewhere there's some clay. Somewhere over here. I guess all I can do is really just drive. And I know there's a whole bunch along here. So, um, you know what? Um, are you, do you know what you're going to be doing over here? Do you, you're going to be okay over here for a minute? Yep. Okay. I'm going to go run, for, get some clay. Uh, what I'll need is a lot of like stone. Well, you, if you want to, but... Uh, if you'd like to come in and go with me, you're more than welcome to. We just got to get back here before, uh, I think, like 1800 on our timer, so... I think we're going to go by the airstrip. Because I think that's where they have a ton, a ton of clay. And then they also have some stone, so we'll be able to pick up both. So I'm going to leave it up to you to guide me where to go there. The airstrip, on the south side of the airstrip. Bottom side of the airstrip. I can't hear you. Oh, uh, that big thing right in the middle of the map, yeah. You should know where the airstrip is by now. Well, I know, but that's... Just tell me where to go. I see some clay deposits on the side of the road. Well, because I know the one over there is just loaded with stuff, so it just... We can kind of... I mean, I'm seeing a lot along the way, though. That's kind of... <laughs> makes you want to just stop and get it all, but... Um, I know that one place is just loaded with clay, so... And we got time, so... I'm going to go over there and get that, and then there's rocks and all kinds of things we can get over there at one shot. Although, going down this road, it looks like there's a whole ton of stuff, too, so... Oh, come on now. I don't know. I'm starting to rethink the strategy here. You know what? Let's just, uh, you know what? It's right here. You're right. We should just go ahead and grab it while we see it, right? All right, so you grab stone. You have your pick with you? Yeah. Okay. You grab the stone. I'll grab the clay, okay? I'm going to park it up here. And I'm going to go back to that clay over there. Do I have a shirt? No, I do not. 
Yeah, I'm going all all uh, caveman here until fall hits, which will be here shortly. But... Uh, you should be overheating. Oh, it says I'm overheating too. Oh, it's 102 degrees. That might be why. <laughs> Yeah, just get yeah, get stone, hit the hit the uh you know, the nodes there. And you should get enough pretty quick. Um you know, a, c a couple of stones, a couple of uh a couple should be fine. You know, 3 maybe, 4. So all you need is 3 stones? No, the boulders. Go break the big boulders. Yeah. About three or four of those. It says I am feeling the heat. It's 102 degrees. That's ah, okay. Sunburn is not a big deal. Okay, I got all this clay. And I'm going to run back to the car. We're going to go up the street here a bit once you get a couple of a couple of those rock nodes. And we'll go grab maybe one or two more clay. I need I need four times as much clay as you pick up stone. Come, 103? Come on now. Going to the water. Is there any AC in this uh, car or what? Are we no? That's not that's not a thing. 103. I'm gonna die of heat exhaustion here. All right, got some clay in there. All right, let's go ahead and go to the next spot, which is up here a little ways. Come on, 103, man. Come on. We lived in Florida and it never got to 103. <laughs> um, oh, keep going. Eat it, dogs. Eat it. Yeah, I knew there was a reason we didn't want to stop here. <laughs> Have they stopped following us or what? All right, so next clay node will stop, which is right here. Gosh, the heat is ridiculous. Okay, and are you going to grab some uh, stones or what? I don't see any more clay around here. Ah. Hundred and three. Give me a break. On our on our invasion day, on our horde invasion day, it's gonna be uh oh, stifling hot, man. You already get another node? Alright, let's go. How much you got on you? Quite a bit? I have. Yeah, you got quite a bit. If you get eighty, that'll be that'll be more than probably we need. Uh were we supposed to turn here? I think so, right? Yeah. Okay, I don't see any more clay though. Yeah, we'll go with what we got. Screw it. If we have to go back out, we'll go back out, but... Oh, come on now. Seriously? More zombies. In the road? Are they paying tolls or what? What's going on here? I'm gonna, st yeah, I'm gonna start setting up toll roads for zombies. Five dollar. Five dollar for every zombie. All right, let's see here. Oh, yeah, I see the heat's getting me. Yeah. Hey, I don't know what we... Other than just strip down naked, I don't know... Or, the water. Well, the thing is, is that we have... There's clothes you can put on that'll alleviate that, but... I don't know if jumping in the water helps. We'll find out here real quick. All right, let's, let's do a jump in the water. I don't think it's going to help, but we can always try Okay. 
And it does not help. What what is happening is I'm losing a crap ton of hydration. All right, uh, and do I have any? Yes, I do have a little bit. So I would suggest drinking water until this thing decides to drop below 103 degrees at two o'clock in the afternoon, which is still not the hottest point of the day. So it's always fun. Uh, let me fill up my containers here. And I guess I should bathe real quick. It says I'm feeling the heat. All right. Um, yeah. Gonna have to man, the water goes down really, really fast when this heat's going on. Okay. Do I need to strip down to my uh, undies or what? Oh, I need a lot more than that. Okay. I think I may have came up, come up short, a little bit short on clay. Oh no, might be alright. Might be okay. Do 20, 20 clay and so let's see, it's 40 clay, 10 rocks. We'll see how that goes. And I know we need more clay for here, so we're going to drop that in. Alright, stone, we need a little bit more, so I'm going to grab that. Oh, short one. Alright, so we need another 13 bricks. Let's see what we get here. And then after that, we can dump all of that. Once I get that uh, that little foundry thing going or uh, smelting furnace, we can drop all of our nuggets in there and start making iron bars. Oop, I do not have Metallurgy 2 yet. I'm going to have to work on that. Okay, we're getting... Getting close to uh, horde time here. Make sure you're all topped off on all your cores. Do we have, uh, let's see, what do you have in here? Let's get one of these. Come on now. Um, feeling the heat. Still 103 degrees. There we go. Yeah, I'm, I'm cleaning some water right now here. Man, one 
One of those coals gives you a 600 second time limit on that sucker. That's pretty good. see yeah I think this one's gonna run a little bit long because unless we sleep which I should probably do anyway <laughs> um you know what we we can't sleep for long maybe uh, an hour but let's do it real quick uh, we can't hold on and time's moving so we gotta go okay let's uh just put it on for an hour, then we need to head over to our horde base. Let me know when you're ready. Off to the side. Don't stand on it. Get off to the side. Uh, now would be better than later. One hour. One hour. Okay, let's not screw around. We only have a lesson. I think it's, I want to say it's 1800 is when this thing spawns in. So I'm going to drop this stuff off real quick and start heading over to the Horde base. Huh? You got enough ammo? You, are you ammoed up or what? I have enough. Alright, here's hoping they come after us, which I think they will, not our base. Uh, cores are looking pretty decent. And again, I don't know what time it starts. I don't know if it's 1800 or 1900, but uh, just get to the roof and there you go. And when they start coming in, just start blasting. Hopefully you get them from further away so they don't get up close to our stuff. All right, this will be our first time ever having a horde invasion, so. Uh, let's see, we get that weapon out, and we're already loaded. I have mine, yeah, you can put it in burst mode, probably. How do I do that? If you hit B, just hit it once, and it'll put it into burst mode. And that means it'll fire three shots every time you click the button, and that should do pretty good so just whatever you do try not to shoot me let's see it's a hundred degrees out yay team uh, well I got my my you got water on you Yeah. okay just if it gets below 50 percent and just drink water all right I'm kind of excited this is our first one and then whatever they do for damage we have to go down there and repair it but then we have another 15 days, which will be fine, to get the rest of our stuff set up. And if I am so blessed and lucky, my beautiful, lovely zombie-killing wife will join me in some further uh, further recordings. And this one's going to run a little bit long, but that's okay. Okay, so it's not 1800. Maybe it's 1900 when they pop in? We'll know it. It's You get that little... <laughs> thing going on so yeah it'll I've seen horde invasions but the ones I've seen look pretty brutal they've had tons of traps and a zillion zombies coming in so I don't know what this is going to be like for us I don't know if they if they base it on how many people you have playing or if huh what I think those sticks are going to keep them oh the sticks will slow them down I'd imagine I mean, everybody that builds a, a starter base always does pretty much down, this. Well, yeah, if they start smashing everything, run to the, run to the just swim because I don't think they swim. But everybody that I've seen so far, this is what they do: they just build like a two or three tier uh, spike trap, at least for their starter base, 
and hell, they don't even go as far as we did. They usually, oh, here we go. So at 1900, that's when it starts. Oh, here they come. I love. I reload this. Oh, they're they're bashing stuff. Smoke them. Why is this thing not reloading? Okay. So the only thing that I'm calling absolute bullshit on is. Are there more? Are they still coming in? That's what pissed me off right now is I was trying I tried to reload three times and didn't let me reload. Okay, so it wasn't that bad. I mean, but the reloading is some horse shit. So hey, did you drop a axe up here? Yeah. A pickaxe? Okay, well. I'll pick it up when we finally Alright, so they destroyed one of our deals and probably damaged another couple, so Okay, that wasn't horrible bad. Alright, with two of us here I don't think I think that's doable. But I will call one hundred percent horse shit on the fact that it I was trying to reload over and over, and it was not allowing me to reload. So that uh, that I'm not a big fan of. Done? I think that's it. I, I I don't see that little red thing. I don't see any more waves coming in. Well, Jesus, I hope we're done, right? What time is it? Does it last like an hour or something? I have no idea. So if you take out your hammer, from what I've seen, yeah, yeah, so the, the condition of this thing needs to be fixed. So they destroyed one, and they did quite a bit of damage to uh, some of the other ones here. But if you if you get to it and you right click on it, if they're damaged, then it will don't left click, right click on it and it will repair it. Okay. Oh, that one's really damaged. They almost got to the they almost got to the house. Okay, and this is where having some of the other things are going to come in handy. So this is why I have to start learning things. Okay, let's see. Any other damage? A little damage there. And it looks like they only came from one direction. So I think the rest of the... All that's going to be safe. It came from right over here. And it looks like they exploited the fact that there was just one, one thing right there. So I may want to see if I can put two on there. Let me... Uh, let me let me fix this real quick, and then we'll probably call it. See, this I only had the one here like this. But I don't think we really need more than the one there. There we go. So we have to put three logs to fix that, uh, repair that, or replace that one. Everything else looks like it's okay. And nothing else really took a whole lot of damage. So, so if they come from that angle every time, I think we'll be okay because we could just put up a couple of traps and. It wasn't horrible. I, I, I'm glad I had you here, because I don't know that I'd be able to do that by myself. I don't like the fact that the sound went off and... I don't care about the sound. What I care about is the fact oh, that I couldn't I reload. Thought that, that I thought that I wasn't hitting, and then the effect will come afterwards. You know, them actually looking like they're hit. Yeah, I don't know if you can hear it. She was, she didn't like the fact that there was the sound glitched out on her, but um, I don't really care about the sound so much. When I'm shooting, I wanted to just make sure I have my ammo. So, you know, at first it was like Omaha Beach. We were just smashing them as they were coming in. But then when I had to do my first reload, I kept hitting reload and it would not reload. Yeah. And it did that two or three times as I was trying to reload. And that really, that is, uh, that's that's not cool. Especially if you're by yourself and trying to do this. That, that would be, that would be some... Epic level bullshit. So, uh, I think she said she's done. I think this episode went a little hard part, or whatever you want to call it, went a little bit long. Um, I'm probably going to come back a little bit later, and uh, since I have time now, I'm probably going to wind up. Uh, wow, that was on some ceremoniously. She just bounced. All right. Um, yeah, probably work a little bit on getting some of the framing done in this place, and then. Uh, how much ammo did I use? Not terribly. Not, well, considering it wouldn't reload half the time, I didn't use a lot. Um, 
But yeah, probably have to pick up some more ammo. I think I'm going to go ahead and finish up uh, the furnace and start smelting some iron and learn some more things. Maybe uh, I, I have to find some books. I really hate to, uh, to go out by myself because I know my partner here is uh, my best hope. But uh, yeah, well, we'll just we'll pick it up in the next one. Probably just finish that up and then do some framing over here and we'll call that good. So, uh, as usual, thank you very much for watching, and we'll catch you all in the next video.